Wow. <sighs> Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So, on May 7th, which is apparently almost four days ago, I know, sorry I'm late to the party, but four days ago, Nintendo of Japan tweeted this tweet. Or at least the president of Nintendo tweeted the tweet through the account. And, it, and, it, and it's basically confirming that Nintendo Switch 2 will be revealed during this fiscal year. And there will be a June Nintendo Direct, not a partner showcase, thank God, that will focus on the latter half of Switch games released. But Nintendo says it won't uh, show the Nintendo Switch 2 during this presentation. I mean, just the way they worded this thing, it, it feels like the most Nintendo thing to do. Like, get people excited, but not too excited. But basically, in short, get excited because we're actually going to see the Nintendo Switch 2 later this year. Probably not in the June Direct, but later on this year. Probably in, in September or October, uh, just like how the first Switch was revealed in uh, uh, September, October 2016, and it released in uh, March 2017. This new Switch will probably release in like March 2025. But yeah, finally, we're getting a new Nintendo Switch. And it honestly felt like it was time to finally release one because I feel like the last time we really had like that big Nintendo Switch game was, in my opinion, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. That was the last game that truly felt like like a Nintendo Switch game, like a big event, like a, publish, a published Nintendo game that we all had to be there for. Like the ones in 2017, 18, 19, even 20, uh, and 21 and 22. And there were even some big games uh, during the year 2023, like, you know, we have Tears of the Kingdom and Splatoon 3, which were both good games. But Super Mario Bros. Wonder was like the last true, like, big game release for the Switch, because after that, we had a lot of, like, third-party stuff, and we have a lot of re-releases uh, coming, so it was pretty clear that they had to make an announcement sometime. It's like it's like the Nintendo standard, just dragging it out until you possibly can't drag it out no longer. It's the same thing they did with the Wii U during like the last couple years of that thing, like when it when it finished its peak and it was going through its uh, a withdrawal uh, period, as I like to call it. Then they announced the the Switch, and then now they're doing the same thing almost eight years later so i guess it's the nintendo way but yeah i cannot uh, sit, sit here and say that i'm not excited because i'm super excited and let's just say hopefully the games are swinging through and that june nintendo direct has a lot to live up to because last year's june direct as you guys know was absolutely amazing and hopefully i can live stream this one this year as well but uh i need to up my stream game because i've been streaming with Streamyard for years but it's the only thing i can do with streaming on mac streaming on mac is almost non-existent but i'll find a way but after that Charles Martinet video, and the video was echoing, if you guys remember, yeah, that was not my best day. And that made me lose a lot of faith in OBS. But I'm gonna try it again for live streaming, and let's hope it turns out better. But yeah, man, Nintendo Switch 2 is coming. Get excited and get ready to save that money for a new console and new games. Because they're coming, and they're coming fast.